Live from Austin, Texas, it's theCUBE. Covering OpenStack Summit 2016. Brought to you by the OpenStack Foundation and headline sponsors, Red Hat and Cisco. And welcome back to Austin here at the Convention Center as we wrap up our coverage of the OpenStack Summit 2016 along with Stu and Brian, I'm John Walls. And uh, gents, before we bring the curtain down here, um, we've heard three days from a lot of people, from a lot of different brands and a lot of walks of this community. We've heard their takeaways. Where are you guys uh, on this, on this uh, one-time phenomenon, now very much a practical concept or an applied concept? Yeah, Stu, what do you think about OpenStack and what have you picked up this week? Yeah, so, you know, we talk about the progress that, that's happened. You know, six years, you know, seems like a long time, but we understand in technology waves, it's really a short time. Uh, and I, I think the community should be, you know, really excited and, uh, you know, have that humble brag about what they've done uh, in this, you know, relatively short period of time. Uh, in the time that I've, you know, I've watched OpenStack since the beginning, but I, I've been to a few of these summits. Um, it, 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 we've gone from, you know, kind of the building of it to, you know, uh, really putting the solutions out. Uh, you, you're just starting to see people talk about, you know, OpenStack can be used in a lot of different consumption models. Uh, some of those, you know, seem to be simpler uh, than, than others, uh, you know, and so some big use cases, you know, NFV was a big takeaway here. Uh, containers maturing in the ecosystem is there. Uh, and I, I really liked how we kind of dig into how OpenStack's fitting into that multi-cloud world. Uh, really, OpenStack is the on-premises piece of what a real hybrid cloud uh, could be, or what, what Wikibon we call true private cloud. So, you know, the difference, of course, is public cloud has the agility, the flexibility, uh, and the simplicity of that IT hasn't had. Uh, there's a, a good lie. Tom Hollandsworth talked about networking and said we're trying to fix some of the sins of IT. Uh, you know, I, I, I had a line uh, to talk to the Rackspace guys. We need to get IT out of doing this stuff that really they kind of suck at. You know, it's like you know <laughs> there, there are people that know how to build data centers well, and most companies aren't that. Um, there's kind of a line that I look at in the sand and say you need to understand the skill sets, understand what your business is. You know, if you are a digital software company, there's certain set of skills that you need. If you are a typical enterprise that are just consuming, you know, standard, you know, you used to buy package wrap software in the past, um, you know, there's certain things that you'd be able to say, hey, I should just be able to get a SaaS application or to, you know, have it as a service. So, you know, OpenStack, where it fits in the overall ecosystem, I think is, is getting a little bit clearer. Um, and, you know, so I, I'm, I'm buoyed by, uh, you know, how, how things are going. Yeah. Brian? Yeah. Um, you know, I think I came into this week a little bit skeptical about, about OpenStack, not not holistically, but you know, the last couple of years have been a little bit of a roller coaster ride. You know, we've seen some transitioning communities coming over towards OpenStack, some from former VMware people trying to figure it out. We've seen a lot of companies trying to figure out if they can make sense of open uh, of open source as a whole. Uh, this week was, was encouraging. There's a lot of energy from the community. Obviously, there's growth. Um, but it's encouraging to see we've got more deployment models, more ways that customers can consume it. We've seen more and more customers who are being uh, outward and open that they're using OpenStack to, to help them on this digital transition. Um, you know, and I think, in general, there's, there's much, more, much less skepticism about how is this going to work and what's going on. Uh, we had a number of people, both on and off camera, who told us, you know, um, People were worried that anybody was going to make any money. They felt very confident that we're sort of at a tipping point of where we're going to start to see all this investment from vendors and the community start to become uh, profitable and, and commercialized. So, you know, I, I think I walk away a lot more positive from this week. I, I walk away feeling that the community is, is starting to move in a, you know, in a more positive direction. And I think it's going to be kind of an inflection point. I think they're going to figure out where it's going to go. Is it going to be telco and NFE dominated? dominated? Is, is, is enterprise going to be equally weighted? Uh, those are going to be fun things to watch over the next six months to a year. Yeah, the fact that both of you guys, have, you've been here you know, a time or two, you know, you've been around the block with, with regard to OpenStack. It seems like, at least if I'm hearing you right, it's gone from a I think I can to I know we can uh, kind of environment. At least there's a growing sense of confidence. Monetization is, is here, and then you look at the partners that are involved here, and the people that picked up on this, that, that uh, it's a real deal. Stu, is that accurate? Yeah, I, you know, I, 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 it's our job to try to synthesize what's going on. Two years ago, um, it was kind of, you know, the momentum's there. Um, not quite too big to fail, but you know, enough people and enough resources being thrown at uh, by a large enough community uh, that was there. Uh, last year, it was uh, you know, kind of the red flags have all at least been identified and we have the path to get things going. Um, and now, uh, you know, 
getting past the moving, uh, you, you know, the, the building of things and, and rolling things out, uh, you know, j just the, you know, the, the execution side of things. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it monetizes. I mean, a big question we still had is, uh, you know, where does OpenStack, you know, OpenStack stack specific make dollars? And where does OpenStack just permeate into the ecosystem and becomes part of the piece of it? Uh, we were talking to one company uh, uh, that said, you know, you, you, you have something that's open and maybe nobody makes money. It just goes free and it gets out there and, and uh, you know, it can be very important. Um, and, uh, you know, think about where Java went. It's, you know, Sun, you know, made Java, you know, tremendous, uh, you know, to the ecosystem, um, but, you know, didn't make them, uh, you know, stay around. Uh, and, you know, there's, so there's d different ways as to how open source fits in the community. There's a whole lot of companies, both from the startup standpoint and the stalwarts in IT uh, that are leveraging OpenStack, uh, part of that uh, community and, and moving things forward. Yeah, Brian, th th there's a lot of discussion about speed, yeah. obviously in this space, and, and getting things done. Uh, they have a distribution schedule, it's pretty aggressive in some respects, every six months they come up with new releases, what have you. Yeah. Um, you know, is there a clash at all, just as going forward, yeah. between those who want to accelerate that change and, and the implementation of that into the into the enterprise, and, and how do you settle that? Is that just the maturity of a market too that you kind of come to a natural rhythm, or yeah. is that a big challenge going forward for these uh, these folks? Well, change is always a challenge in, in, in technology because it, it's always a little bit harder than you think it's going to be and, and you're always a little more optimistic than, than maybe it's ready to be. But I, I think at the end of the day, the big, the big things to me are uh, a couple of macro things. Number one is, uh, you know, the, the mobile world is moving and growing faster than sort of the, the fixed desktop world and so forth. So there's an expectation that things are going to move fast, things are going to be available 24 by seven. That to me is huge. And the other thing is, you know, what I heard more and more was, you know, what OpenStack is about is less about kind of replatforming the old, which was about going slow, about managing risk, about, you know, those sort of things. And this is really about trying to make, you know, your business more ready for these digital environments, which, which has to go fast. Nobody, nobody, in the business world, nobody's going to wait for you to sort of catch up, right? Your competition's going to outflank you. Uh, you've got to keep up. So I, I think there will be a natural sort of rhythm of, of how fast these will happen. But like I said, we're, we're also seeing, you know, more options that are out there. We're seeing, uh, you know, cloud providers that are offering this. You know, we talked to Rackspace, we talked to some, talked to some others, talked to Zero Stack. Uh, you know, they're, they're trying to be part of that thing that says, hey, if you want to go fast, we're ready for you. And then, you know, we had, you know, Cisco and, and, uh, and Red Hat and some others who go, if, you know, if you want to build this yourself and work at that pace, great, we've got an offering for you as well. So I, I think those things will naturally work themselves out, but I think at the end of the day, uh, there's really nothing advantageous in business to be going slower uh, when, when your competition can go fast. Sure. Yeah, John, uh, John if I could just build on that, because there, there's kind of two pieces here. On the one hand, we said to really be successful in OpenStack, if you're going to kind of do the whole OpenStack, you know, you need to do something big. This should be something you know, important and get the buy-in. Um, and I always look at, you know, how big of a chunk and how big of a bet do you need to do something? And that could be a little bit daunting to some. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, we've got the new consumption models that are lowering the friction and allow me to just leverage it and get my job done. Maybe I even think about the fact that it's OpenStack. Uh, we talked to ZeroStack today, um, and in some ways they look like a hyperconverged appliance, but their messaging is that they've got the, uh, you know, just ease of use and operational model of the public cloud, like AWS. Um, and it's not until the second meeting that somebody says, oh, and underneath here's OpenStack. So I'd actually said last year in talking to some startups, you know, I feel OpenStack's going to be successful when we start seeing lots of solutions that get out there, and it's not until you dig into the you know, details that components of OpenStack are in there, um, and we're, we're starting to see some early indicators that that, that could happen, mm -hmm. and it could be like Linux did in the past, you know, uh, you know permeate uh, the, the ecosystem uh, w without having to be you know, OpenStack as the thing. I know we had a great week here. Uh, we talked about it. For those of you who might have seen our uh, day three preview, you heard a, just a great discourse on the outstanding selection of barbecue here in the Austin area, uh, amongst other highlights of the social scene. Uh, but for the schedule for you two, I know EMC World's coming up next week. Uh, but you know, Brian, give me a little rundown of your calendar here over the next three, four weeks and, and what you're going to be up to. Yeah, so the next a lot of, lot of travel uh, will be at uh, EMC World. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, work maybe over at, at Interop as well on the cloud travel 
track chair over there, but, but heavy on, on EMC World next week. Um, you know, the, the Cloud Foundry Summit is coming up. We'll be having some coverage there from a research perspective. Uh, DockerCon's coming up in, in June. We'll be at Red Hat Summit. Probably make a stop at Velocity Conference in between those two, because it's on the West Coast and we're out there. So, a lot of focus on, you know, we're going to walk away from here, which is open infrastructure. Uh, you know, next week will be about, you know, the transitional business models of EMC and Dell, and then about a month straight of nothing but open source, you know, infrastructure, containers, cloud native applications. Um, and so us gathering a ton of information for our research, but also the Cube's going to be at all those events as well. Yeah, Stu, no rest for the weary, right? Yeah. You're, 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 you're pounding the pavement as well. And Absolutely. All those stops so, and probably uh, more. You know, yeah, but Brian and I get to, you know, stop at home real quick each, uh, at our respective places before uh, we'll be together in Vegas uh, for the EMC World stuff. Uh, while he's out at DockerCon, I'm actually going to be at the Nutanix.next conference, uh, which is also in Vegas, uh, and then we'll uh, you know, sync back up for the Red Hat Summit uh, towards the end of June. I've got some analyst events in between uh, where you kind of dig in deep as to where some of the technologies are. Um, from my standpoint, on the research standpoint, we've got the update coming for Wikibon's server sand research. So that was kind of you know, our, our work that kind of laid out what we think is hyperconverged is the first instantiation of it, but it's our umbrella uh, for where uh, kind of compute and storage are, are coming together. Uh, some, we've kind of called it, uh, the, you know, the headlines, the death of the storage array as we know it. Uh, it'd be interesting to see EMC World will have a lot of discussion on uh, that kind of technology. Uh, I've also been digging into just that, that whole cloud uh, storage standpoint has been making a lot of uh, momentum. Um, I, I, I wrote an article last year and I said, um, you know, the most successful, you know, storage startup that's doing billions of dollars of storage a year is actually Amazon Web Services, who not you think of as a storage company. So different ways of consuming storage is something uh, you know we're trying to understand. So yeah, lots going on <laughs> uh, on, the, on the research side. Uh, you know, Brian's been pumping out a ton of great research. Um, so there, there's pieces of it you can see on SiliconAngle.com. Reach out to us if you've got questions. If you're seeing a title and want to find out more, you know, we're happy to help. Uh, and uh, you know, of course, the Cube uh, keeps us hopping. Uh, in addition to Brian and me, you know, there's many other shows going on in between the rest of the team. Uh, we, we've got a, 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 a John Furrier, a Jeff Frick, and Peter Burris are all out at an Oracle event right now in Las Vegas. Uh, I know Dave Vellante actually uh, gets uh, a week when we've got two events that he's not on the road, which is uh, a rare thing, but he'll be at EMC He got World a week off? Many issues, things. Um, Dave never takes time off. He's right. probably on the phone right now or watching us as we speak. My phone's not buzzing just yet, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and some thank yous to hand out, too, because obviously this can't get off the ground without the sponsorship help on one side and the great crew support that we have as well here. Yeah, yeah so I, I'll take that just because, uh, you know, once again, the community is phenomenal here. Uh, the uh, the foundation, uh, it, you know, it not only helps us with the set here, but, you know, uh, helping us some of the great keynote speakers, uh, engaging us with the ecosystem. Uh, big thanks to our uh, anchor headline sponsors, Red Hat and Cisco, and additional sponsorship from Hewlett Packard Enterprise, uh, NetApp with the Solid Fire team, uh, and EMC. So uh, phenomenal there. And yeah, wow. Uh, John, first of all, thank you. It's been great. You know, oh, new addition to the team. Thanks for having Appreciate me. Appreciate yeah. you, you, you coming on. Uh, you know, Brian, it's, it's good to see you again. Uh, the guys behind the scenes here, it's, uh, you know, Greg, Brendan, and Chuck, uh, you know, real always good. Uh, Sam, uh, you know, our... We can't uh, forget Sam the line uh, what, What's Sam's new title? Hey, Barbecuber. Sam the Barbecuber. The Barbecuber. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, cast of thousands helping out with social, online, uh, everything else. So, uh, you know, it, it's a community uh, that we're happy to be a part of. That's great. Well, good. Well, thank you again, uh, both, you. for uh, making me so much at home here. And uh, thank all of you for watching uh, here on theCUBE. We wrap up our coverage here at OpenStack. On now to EMC World in Vegas. And we'll see you there next week. Until then, have a good one. <laughs>